Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm and this is another Minecraft command video and in this episode we're going to look at one of my most favorite commands and that is the execute command. So let's take a look at the syntax. There's two variants to this command. One is where we provide an entity or a selection criteria. Uh, the X, Y and Z which is the relative location for the entity then the command to execute. Or another variant is where we also provide some detection logic. That's where we use detect then the X, Y and Z and then some block information. So that's where we can detect if the target selection is also standing on a block or near a block and they perform logic based on that. So that might sound like a lot of humbo jumbo. Um, so let's look at some examples. I find when you look at these kind of commands, it's best to look at some practical examples. And one you can see all around me. So that all these donkeys have the heart particle effect above them right now. And the reason why they have that is because I'm using a command um, with a entity selection where I'm also defining the minimum distance as well. So Let's take a look here. So this donkey here has no hearts. But these ones do. <laughs> so why? Why does this guy have no hearts? So let's just pull this guy further away. Let's move. Come on. Come up here with your friends. There we go. Now you've got the heart animation. So why is that the case? So let's look at the command. So this here, this command block here is running all those commands at the moment. So let's look at the syntax. So here we're saying execute for all uh, entities of type entity horse. And that is a donkey is also a type of horse. Uh, and we're saying a minimum distance is 10 blocks. So we want 10 blocks away from uh, wherever this command is being executed. And we're also going to play on the particle heart animation um, if this detection is true. So that's pretty cool. But there's many other things you can do. Execute by itself doesn't really allow you to do much. But you really need to merge it with other commands, just how we're doing it there. So one other example is let's do some fun examples with some pigs. So sorry, pigs going to be my experiment cases for today so let's just click this button over here and see what happens whoa <laughs> so that's interesting this guy turned into a pig zombie um, but the other one didn't now why would that be the case let's just try that again let's click this button nothing happens I press it again nothing happens but if there's a pig standing on this nether rack well he just walked off he knew what was coming towards him <laughs> so if I press it now aha so What's happening here is in this command block, I've got a command and what I'm saying is I'm using the detection logic. So I'm saying for all entities of type pig, I'm using the detect option. And then if the entity that I'm selecting the block beneath it, so minus one here is the one block beneath it. If that is a, a block of type netherrack, then I'm summoning a lightning bolt at that location. So that's how I'm, whoops. <laughs> Sorry mate, I'm still trying to explode you. <laughs> so that's how I'm creating these uh, pig zombies by striking the pigs with lightning as soon as they walk onto this nether rack. Now I could just hook this up to a timer and make this command execute over and over again to make it automatic so I don't have to press the button each time. But you get the picture, that's the kind of options we've got. So that's pretty cool. Now some other things you can do that's also pretty cool with the execute command. Let's just create a couple of snowmen. So there we go, we've got to cause some snowmen. He's trying to attack this pig zombie it looks like so go on buddies take your best shot <laughs> so let's look at a command we could use to make these guys a little bit more terrifying in what damage they can do to your world so let's look at a command so let's just look at something here so here we're going to say for all entities of type snowman we're going to set the block beneath it to a packed ice block so what that means is let's push these guys around a little bit uh oh he's on fire <laughs> But uh, as you can see, as they walk around, they're actually now dropping <laughs> a packed ice block beneath it. So that's pretty interesting. You can start to merge the commands. You can start to feel for the kind of power this command has. And it's really, and it's quite uh, interesting and dynamic to build something like this. So let's create ourselves another snowman. So let's create ourselves another snow block down. And um, because I've got this in a loop, just running out of command block like this, uh, this command will run wherever these guys walk around. So you can see they're leaving the pack guys uh, wherever they walk. So that's pretty interesting. Now we can take it a bit further and we can do some other fun stuff. So let's look at one more command. I'm going to write in here a command that's pretty long and pretty ugly to, to look at. But I think the effects are pretty cool. So I'm not going to walk through the command because it's quite long. But basically I'm going to do some logic around a creeper. And that is if a player gets close to a creeper. Okay, so let's find out what will happen here. So we've got this in a timer. So this is going around from this redstone clock. So what will happen is let's just sit down a creeper. It's just a regular creeper, nothing fancy. This is all vanilla Minecraft, of course. Now let's walk a bit closer to this guy and see what happens. 
<laughs> so what happens is whenever we get close to a creeper, there's fireworks that go off where the creeper is located. And it's all relative to the creeper. So if we kill this creeper, then let's create another creeper down here. Whoops, let's create one down there. There we go. Now, let's try this again. Let's get close to this creeper. There we go. Got all these fireworks going off. So as you can see, the commands are quite powerful. Oh, that's quite loud. Let's get away from this guy. <laughs> and um, yeah, as you can see, you can have a lot of fun. And this snowman's trying to make his own uh, um, little island out here, it looks like. He's, <laughs> he's trying to go for China or something out that way. So yeah, as you can see, the command is quite powerful. There's many different things you can do with it. Have a lot of fun with it. Um, basically, the world is at your fingertips when you want to do something crazy with these command blocks and with the Minecraft commands. So have a go, have a play around and see what you can come up with. Um, so if you're interested in these kind of videos, check out my command block and uh, Minecraft command uh, playlist. Um, I've got a link on the screen, just click that if you want to take a look. And details are in the video description as well, plus all the examples of the commands that we used in this video. So check those out if you want to. Have fun and of course, stay awesome. <laughs> Alright, until the next episode, stay awesome guys. Alright, see you guys. Cheers.